Well, hello there, friends. Last time we made meatballs, I told you we're gonna make them one day with a Thai influence. Well, we got Thai curry, crispy chicken meatballs. I got them right here, friends. I'm gonna show you how to make it. Remember, thumbs up if you like the video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and don't forget to ring the bell. Stay tuned, friends. We're making chicken meatball with a Thai influence. All right, friends, well, let's start making the meatballs, eh? So I got a, um, I'm gonna make a little bread mixture first, and it's really simple, it's panko. Panko is a Japanese breadcrumb. Make it very crispy, we like it because it's very crispy. I got three cup of panko, and I got one cup of coconut, uh, shredded coconut. This is not the shredded coconut, and we're gonna put salt and pepper, and this is not the, um, uh, because the breadcrumb has no seasoning at all. This is not the, uh, the coconut you buy at the, uh, the grocery store that has the, the sugar in it, you know, the, the those you use for cookies. This is just plain shredded coconut. And you'll see it, no sugar added, no nothing, just plain. It, it is not very sweet at all, all right? We're gonna process it so it's a little thinner. Nothing big, no big deal, just a little thinner. It makes for a better crust if it's a little thinner. And uh, it gives you the texture but it doesn't give you too much of the crunch. We don't need that much, see? Just a little bit. And we're gonna put some inside, and we're gonna put some outside the meatballs. All right, friends? So here we have it. Just process it, let me see. I just wanna make sure it's, uh, it's uh, yeah, I think it's fine. Maybe just, a, just a, a few more seconds. If you want it to be fine, I'll show you. I'll show you what you're looking for. I'll show you what you're looking for, friends. Oh, you can see it right there. Let me see. Can they see it right there, Jack? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, right there. So you see, it's fine, but uh, not too fine, right? So what we're gonna do, we're gonna save one cup. <laughs> Hold on one second. We're gonna save one cup, then we're gonna use for the inside. So we have a half a cup, and we have one more cup, and the other, the other should be about three cup left. We're gonna use that for the outside of the, hey, yes, finally, it's about time then the Cuisinart came up with a, a thing when the blade doesn't come out. Remember the old model? The, oh, the blade was coming out. So, anyway, <laughs> well, I always gotta add something. All right, I can't put it back. So this is my one cup that I'm gonna use inside the mixture, and this is my three cup that I'm gonna use to coat the, 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 the meatballs. So, let me put the chicken here for now so it's not in, in the way. Let me put this right here. I just want to show you a couple of things. We're going to put some Thai curry paste. You can make your Thai curry paste if you got nothing else to do. <laughs> and if you have the time or the inclination, I'll give you a recipe to do it. All you need is a, uh, um, a mortar and pestle and, uh, and do that. And, or you can buy one. I love this uh, brand right there. It's called uh, uh, Murs, I can't pronounce it. M-M-A-E. S R I, merci. I don't pronounce it, and it's really, really good. I've been buying it for years, and uh, and you, you're hardly ever going to need the whole thing. So I take a tablespoon or two when I need it. I'm going to use it to make the sauce, and the rest of it I put in a little type of wear container like that, and I freeze it. You see, I put on there what it is, Thai curry. It, it freezes for 17 years, <laughs> minimum. I don't know how many years, but it freezes a long time. So I just wanted to show you. It's a good product. You find that at, uh, at Oriental Market. It's usually a buck fifty, a dollar fifty or something. Thai curry. It's moist. The difference to the Thai curry and the Indian curry, besides the flavors, it's very moist. All right. So it works great for to put inside. Then we're gonna put some cilantro. I just wanted to show you a, a way that I do my cilantro, friends is if I do it in advance, this is my prep. You see, I like to prep everything in advance, right? So I got a, a cilantro leaves. So I pick them out of the stem and I put them in a little bowl. And then I, I put a little moist pepper towels and I go like this and then I, I wrap it, boom. So I can make my prep the day before if I'm gonna do that, right? It, it'll stay in the fridge right there. Because if you just put this in the fridge in a bowl like that, mamma mia, it's gonna be a mess. So what I do is I just put them here like that in a bowl, and then I chop them at the last minute, whenever I need it. Parsley, cilantro, especially. Those leaves are, those leaves, friends, are very um, flimsy. 
So we have to chop them at the last minute. And the best way to do this, friends, you make a little mount like that of it, you see? You make a, you bush them up. Bush them up? That's a new culinary, <laughs> in a new culinary term. Jack says I should make a whole new dictionary about my culinary terms. So, <laughs> bush them up, G gather them up. I'm sure there's a, a word for that. And, um, and I know I'm gonna think about it after the video. Uh, so you wanna chop them up really good like this. Let me put my knife out of the way because I don't need it. And I have to clean it before I put it back in my drawer. And this right there. Try to avoid to do this with a knife, okay friends? I see a lot of people, they still scrape it with a knife. All right, we got everything we need to make it. So now let's go. I got two pound of, um, of, uh, of uh, uh, ground chicken breast. Use whatever you want, friends, okay? You can use turkey, you can use whatever you want. I got a half of a red bell pepper that I cut in very small uh, uh, dice. Very, very, very small. It was a big bell pepper because half of it, you see, that's quite a bit, right? Um, I got one shredded carrots, one shredded carrot. That looks like a lot, doesn't it? One shredded carrots? That must have been a huge carrot. It was. One, one shredded carrot. Uh, of course, we're gonna put a cilantro. That was uh, 23 leaves. I don't know, I didn't count them. And it doesn't matter. It could be 24, 25, who knows? Um, we're gonna put a curry. Of course, I got, now I got uh, carrots. I got everything in my fingernails. And not fingernails, in my, on my fingers. And uh, so we're gonna put the Thai curry here, friends. And now we're gonna put about a, I would say, two teaspoon. That's really up to you, okay? You put as much or as little as you want, friends. It's really up to you, okay? How much you put in, we move it out of the way. We're gonna put um, a, a healthy tablespoon of chopped garlic. Put as much or as little as you want. We're gonna put one whole egg. I should have breaking it before. It would have made it would have been easier. There you go. One whole egg. And. Uh, uh, we're gonna put lime, ginger, and shallots. <laughs> look, look at this, this is one shallots. I'm gonna put a little bit of shallots for it. I don't need a lot. Now, shallots, you cook them normally, but sometimes they're sweet, kind of like a red onion, and you can test it, and if it tastes sweet to you, then you can put them in there without cooking them. Otherwise, you gotta cook them. But it was great in here. It would be like if you put, if you don't have shallots, you can't find them, and look, look at this thing. <laughs> Uh, if you can't find a, a shot, put a red right onion. Small diced, small diced, okay? Let me remove a, a bunch of that stuff here in here, friends, so it's in our way. It's not in our way. Um, the brecon, okay? You know, we're gonna wait. We're gonna mix everything and then we're gonna add it. Uh, a little bit of shiracha or hot sauce, whatever you like. Again, it's up to you. Be careful because your curry could be very spicy already. So you add as little or as much as you want. I'm gonna put a couple of, uh, about a tablespoon of toasted sesame oil, good toasted sesame oil. Good toasted sesame oil, when you smell it, it smells uh, uh, roasty, but not burner. Sometimes you have inexpensive toasted sesame oil, you smell it, it smells burner. So we're gonna put, um, I say, a tablespoon, a tablespoon and a half of good toasted sesame oil. Let me put it right there. All right, I got shiracha, I got all this. Okay, now, ginger. A lot of people, friends, they peel their ginger. And uh, I think this is because they got nothing else to do. I, <laughs> I don't think it's necessary, but if it makes you happy to peel it, you peel it. Now, you know we are microplane grater. You know you have this right there and you all know how to use it because I've been telling you, except new subscriber. Again, welcome to the new subscriber. This month's coming along, we had 50,000 new subscribers. Amazing, it's been a fantastic month. So those of you guys out there that I knew, if you haven't seen my channel, you don't know how to use one of those. You go like this, you put your lime on top of it. I'm like, I can see the regulars, I go, oh, here it goes again. And we got it, the new people. 
So you don't want them to do it wrong, right, friends? Uh, they go like this. And if you do it this way, so, so I demonstrate better. See, you go like this. First of all, it's difficult. Now you go like this. You go, oh, I got to aim to make sure I don't go back to this because I don't want the white. Instead of that, you go on top like this, okay, and you put it like this. And look, see, all of it, you never go back to the same place twice because the, 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 the same place would be white, would be the pith. And the pith is bitter. You would be amazed how much flavor you get out of that one lime. Have you noticed where the, where the, where the lime is, friends? It's right there. Right there. The tool is designed to be used this way. Somebody says uh, it's like playing a violin. I agree. Do, 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 do. <laughs> I don't want me to sing, trust me. <laughs> I've been told, don't sing. All right, here we go. <laughs> Look, guys, over there, boom. There you go. Now you got to use that for lime, lime juice. <laughs> okay, now, another microplane grater. I'll show you the difference. For those of you that have never seen the difference, friends, you see the microplane grater right there, this is for the citrus, right? And this right there is different. This is for ginger, garlic, chocolate, cheese. And what it, what it does, it grates. You see, look, look, look. And let me tell you, this guy right there is mean. <laughs> if, you, uh, if you're not careful, you're gonna have pink ginger. Yeah, pink, your, fin your fingers are gonna be in there. So be careful, friends. I love the smell. Now, I love ginger, but I love it in small doses. Okay, some people like it a lot in the front. I kind of like it in the back, so you do however you want to do it, all right? And here we have it, friends. Now, like I say, you want to peel your ginger, you take a teaspoon and you peel it. It peels really easy, all right? That's it, my friends. All right, we're done with this. Let's put a little salt. Let's put some black pepper. Not much because we got spices from the, the curry and we got spices from... Uh, from uh, the, the hot sauce. And now we're gonna put the gloves. Not because I'm afraid of touch. I'm not afraid of touch. Believe me, <laughs> 50 years in the kitchen, I'm not afraid of touch anything. Uh, I just don't want it to be in my fingers. It's just a pain to clean. It's much easier if I just do it like this. You see? You come back over here. <laughs> there you go. All right, friends, look. Now we're gonna mix all this up. You see? And we're going to mix it all up, and then we're going to add the breadcrumbs because it's too wet right now, you see? See, it's a little too wet. But we like it. We like it like that. It makes it easier to make our, our bowls. And depends the size of it, you're going to make uh, 12 to, to 20 of them. It all depends on the size you're going to make them. We want to mix everything really good. All right, and then we're gonna put the, uh, the bread home, and that's gonna dry it out for us, you see? So you see, it makes it really easy to put the gloves. Now when you're done, you take the gloves off, then you're done. I may need a little bit more of the bread home, friends. Let me see. I don't wanna make them too, too bready, because I'm gonna put more bread on the outside of it. You see, I'll show you. I'll show you. Of course I'm going to show you. That's what I'm here for. <laughs> okay, so they're wet and fragile. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to put a little bit more. So forgive me, I'm going to take another half a cup of this. And if I don't have enough of this, I'll make it a half a cup. So it would be a cup and a half of bread of the boy coming, I think that's gonna do it. Mm hmm yes. So it's a cup and a half. Yeah, that's enough. It's holding it pretty good. All right, so now, I'm gonna show you what I do. There you go, friends. All right. I think it's well mixed. Yeah, you hear people all the time tell you, so don't mix too much. You're going to make it tough. I don't know what they're thinking of. 
first of all, we don't want to mix it too much. <laughs> Why would you want to do anything too much? So <laughs> we're not going to mix it too much. Eh? All right. Stay over there. All right. Now, of course, at home, you do however you want to do it. You're not in camera. You can certainly use your hand. So then we're going to take a... Now, that's the size I'm making them. For those of you that know sizes of... Uh, it's size 24. Make them any size you want, my friends. It's really, really up to you. You take it. You fill it up. Make sure it's nice and tight. You put it in here. You take your break on. And you roll them. See? Pretty simple, right? See, friends? Look. Make sure they're nice and round. All right? I'm going to do them all. And then what I'm going to do, friends... I'm going to put them in, in the fridge because I want them to be really cold. And then we're going to saute them. We're going to make them look real pretty. And I'm going to show you how you finish cooking them, okay? So I'm going to do them all like that. Make them bigger if you want. Make them smaller if you want. And then I'm going to show you. We're going to make them real pretty. We're going to saute them. And then we're going to make a nice Thai curry sauce. All right, friends? I'm going to do all this. Probably looks like I'm going to have about 24 if I'm finished. I'm guessing. Uh, so I'll see you when they're all done. And they've been in the fridge for about an hour. I'm going to leave them in an hour. So I'll see you about an hour. It'll be minutes for you. I'm looking to see if I forgot something. What do you think, Jack? Did I forget anything? Jack can't think I forgot anything, so I'm good. I'll see you in about an hour. Okay, friends. I put them in the, in the fridge, and you see, look. They're nice and cold. See, look. See? Not exactly round, but... Uh, it's okay. <laughs> uh, we're going to make a sauce. And the sauce, friends, has the same um, ingredient uh, uh, than the balls have. You know? So we're going to put little shallots in there. And we're going to sweat them really quick. They're not going to need to cook that long. I got some uh, uh, um, beautiful uh, uh, garlic <coughs> olive oil right there in here. And, uh, and, and so, so did here. I put some... Uh, some guy got a ball. And the oil, I'm looking for 365. So I got a little time. I'm going to sweat the shallots. And then uh, make sure you keep them in the fridge as, as much as you can, okay, friends? Because they need to be cold. If they're not cold, even if you want to put them in the freezer for, uh, for 20 minutes, it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> you know, really, because they, they got to be firm. You see, you, remember you didn't put any fillings in there, just a little bit of breadcrumb. And, uh, oh, oh, the size of it, for instance, about two inches in diameter. The number 24 ice cream scoop is two inches. So I'll give you that also in, and there's a little one. But <laughs> I have 28 of it. I made 28. So I thought it was going to be 24, but it ended up being 28. Depends the size you make them. You can make them big. It's really up to you. I think it's more delicate if it's a little small. Okay, friends? So uh, the shallots are here, and then we're going to put a little bit of the curry. Okay, the, 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 up to you again, how much you put in, it's really up to you. It's always up to you, <laughs> it's your food, <laughs> right? And then the ginger this time, I mean, I can certainly use the microplane grater, but I cut them in little pieces. You, you put it however you want it, ready? And a little bit of garlic, okay? So, so far, nothing special. You know, you know I don't do nothing special. I make sure the stuff I do, you guys can do at home. You know, because at the end of the day, cooking is not that big of a deal. You know, everybody makes such a big deal of it. It's nothing. Look, look. Well, you can do this. And I promise you it's going to be better than going out to many uh, restaurants. Because some of the restaurants you go out there. I mean, I know there's a lot of good restaurants out there. I don't want to pick on restaurants. Because there's some beautiful restaurants out there that do phenomenal food. But some of them, mama me. Uh, all right. So, look. Uh, it's very, very good if you saute the curry a little bit. Uh, it, uh, it releases an incredible amount of flavor, but the fumes that come out of it could make you sneeze a little bit. So what I do is I saute it a little bit like I do right now, and then I'm going to put chicken stock, okay? And I started with four cups, and uh, we'll see how much I got left when I'm done, friends, okay? I'm going to cook this, right? And then we're going to put some coconut milk, co coconut milk at the end. I got coconut milk. Not, not the sweetened one, right? We're going to bring that to boil, and then we'll thicken the sauce. Oh, oh, let's put a little bit of shiracha. Oh, let's check the oil. I don't want it to be higher than 365. Oh, it's almost there, friends. It's 345. I'll do the shiracha in a minute. I'm going to reduce this. Uh, I'm going to do about half of it, because there's no way in the world uh, 
Let's make sure, okay? I don't want to be in a cold oil, but I don't want to be in a, so that's why I like my thermometer. It makes it easy. And always you can't use a candy thermometer when you're doing a fry pan like that. So it's actually not, not that hot yet. So I can wait a couple of minutes. Let me put a little bit of a, of a hot sauce in there. And again, put as much or as little as you want. It's really up to you. I think I'm gonna put more stock friends because I wanna put more sauce. I'm gonna cook them in the sauce. You can also cook them in the oven if you wanna do it in advance. You make the sauce separately. You put them on a cookie sheet and finish them up in the oven. There's nothing wrong with that. All right, we're gonna bring it to boil. I think we're good now. All right, so, you know, a lot of meatballs out there, the people cook them, they get brown, they get so brown, then they burn. I don't want them to burn. I want them to be golden brown, okay? So golden brown doesn't mean burn. Uh, so that means you gotta rotate them, and rotate them, and rotate them, and rotate them constantly, friends. And if you put too much, you don't know where you are. You don't know where you are. What the, what does that mean? Hey, oh, friends, a little bit of toasted sesame oil in the sauce, okay, for flavor, beautiful flavor right there. This is, uh, that's why I have a high smoke point, the, the toasted sesame oil. So here we're gonna do, we'll put a coconut milk. This is, um, the, the, the brand I use is called Roland. I like it, it's nice and thick, uh, and it's not sweetened, okay? It's not sweetened. Here you go, I got a half a can, because the other half I use it for the cook the, the rice. I made a little, uh, 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 rice, uh, coconut, uh, um, jasmine rice, friends. Oh, oh, let's check it out. See what you got here. And not, not there probably yet. No, not exactly. That's all right, because what we're gonna do, we're gonna round them here, and then we're gonna finish cooking them in a the sauce, and when they're all done, we're gonna make a nice serving plate. All right, friends, in the meantime, we're we'll gonna cook this. Let me get a couple of them golden brown, and then I'm gonna finish cooking it. It has to be super brown, okay? And like I said, friends, you can, uh, let me make sure I got, I got some good heat here. Uh, you can make all this in advance. You can, uh, of course, you can make it in advance. And like I said, you can saute them into the beautiful golden brown. Then what you wanna do, if you don't wanna cook them in a the sauce, you can certainly do that. You can put them in a cookie sheet and, and uh, cook them in the oven. There's nothing wrong with this. See, look, look, they're starting to get some color, friends, see? Right there. Now at this point, you gotta be careful because you want to really, really, really rotate them. You don't want it to be a, uh, uh, oh, see, 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 see what I'm talking about? See right there, friends? See, it's not complicated. You see, nothing we do is complicated. Nothing we do is complicated. I think uh, too many people take, a, oh, I don't know how to cook. Well, what do you mean you don't know how to cook? Everybody know how to cook. You just gotta apply yourself and do it, friends. You know, it's like people say, I, I don't know how to play tennis. Or have you taken the lessons? No, well, how are you supposed to do? You know how to play golf? No, I don't know how to play golf. Do you take any lesson? No, well, how are you supposed to know how to play if you don't know? It's the same thing in the kitchen, okay? You gotta take a lesson, you gotta take lessons, you gotta learn a few things, okay? How are you supposed to know the temperature of the oil? I, oh, mama mia, you're talking about that. Look, 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 this one is nice, see right there? That's what I want. Uh, how are you supposed to know? If somebody got to tell you, well, that's what I'm here for. I'm here to tell you that you can become a good cook. Anybody can do it. There's nothing here you cannot do. Don't let somebody tell you, oh, I don't know how to cook. Yeah, you know, it's because you're not, you're not in the kitchen and you're not applying yourself. If you were to apply yourself, you could cook like everybody else, right? Am I right or not? For those of you that have, have been comfortable, you know how many comments we get? We got so many comments for Thanksgiving. People say, the first Thanksgiving I did, the first turkey I did, the first gravy I did, the first stuffing I did. My family loved it. I'll never not do it again. I, I mean, I got two neighbors this afternoon just saying, wow, we did your, your Thanksgiving uh, stuffing. It was amazing. We'll never go back to that stuff, top, 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 topping, whatever they're using, the stuffing thing in a box. Well, what is that? What is that anyway? Just bread. That's not stuffing. Look, 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 look how beautiful they're getting, friends. You see, that's what we do. We're gonna make them golden brown, and then we're gonna put them in, and then we're gonna put them in the sauce. I mean, a child could do this, friends. It's not complicated. You see, you just gotta keep an eye on it. That's all. You just just can't just, just turn the heat on. Oh, oh, and then go go somewhere. Like that's what people do. You can be there and have a conversation. That's why I don't like stove. By the way, for those of you that design a kitchen, I don't like a stove against the wall. Otherwise you're over there, right? You're cooking and you're talking to your guests. You're, you're over there, you're talking to your guests. You have to have a, a stove in the aisle. 
in the aisle with a hood system in, in the ceiling, you know? And, and then when you cook, because that's what we do, right? There's always somebody in the kitchen, look, look what I'm doing. I'm talking, I'm talking, and then I'm not showing you anything. We'll cook them in a the sauce. We'll cook them in a the sauce, man. okay? You see? And then we're going to thicken the sauce. I got a little cornstarch right there. You see? It's not complicated, right? Not complicated. You notice? Look at this, man. And then we're going to do the rest of it later. You see? I don't know why I'm getting some water. What am I getting? Oh, I know what I'm getting. I'm putting sauces. You see what I did? You see? I Oh, look at this. Two brown. Hide it. Uh, look, two brown. Hide it. Uh, you see? I'm making a mistake, too. See? You know what that is? That's, that's me putting some sauce in there. So, look. Lo lower this down. Turn it off for now. Uh, I'm going to cook them in here, friends. I'm going to cook them in there for a good, uh, I don't know, 10 minutes. Check the inside temperature. We're going to take a thermometer because we're not, we're not, uh, uh, is a word. I can't come up with anywhere these days where you see without touching. Now, how am I going to say what's inside? What is it supposed to be? Uh, 165, very big weight, 160. So I take a thermometer, right, and I go inside in the middle, and I'm 100 and, 110. So slowly, I'm going to cook them until they get to 160, and it will be good to go. In the meantime, I'm going to saute those. I'm going to cook them up, and when they're down, I'm going to show you. I'm going to thicken the sauce a little bit, and, uh, and then we're going to eat them. All right, so i see you in a minute. Okay, we're well, talking about messing up. <laughs> you know, I show you all my mistakes, friends, so that you don't make them. I told you to put them in the sauce. It is not a good idea. I forgot. Then they were breaded. I was thinking of my regular meatballs, you know, that I make, then I cook them, and I saute them in a pan, and I finish cooking them in a sauce. So, but they were breaded. When they're breaded, they don't look so cool. You see right there? In the sauce? Look, look, look how beautiful they look. When you saute it, you take the time to get them beautiful golden brown, you cook them in the oven. That was my original idea. And I don't know why, all of a sudden I said, you don't want to cook them in a the sauce. So I make mistake too. You don't make them, okay? You put them in a, in a cookie sheet and you cook them. I got the oven at 375. They're only going to take 10 minutes at the most. But remember, thermometer. Also in a sauce, I forgot to put the lime and I forgot to put the cilantro. So I'm doing all this. And I'll take in the sauce. I see you on the other side. I'll put them in the oven now. So remember, don't cook them in the sauce. Don't do what I did. All right? I'm going to finish cooking them in the oven. We're going to eat them no matter what. They're going to be delicious. All right. Okay, friends. Well, I'm going to finish the sauce, and I'm going to take them out of the oven, okay? Uh, so I got a little cornstarch diluted in water. How much you put in, it's, it all depends. You have to be careful because the... Um, the uh, the cornstarch love the coconut milk, okay? So you see, we, you see all your shallots in there, and, uh, and, and it's, and it's going to be an amazing sauce. So, you know, you're not supposed to put butter in, uh, in, in Thai food, okay? So but it's up to you, it's up to you, up to you. If you think you need butter, um, don't be shy. <laughs> I think a little bit would be nice. A little bit. Let's test that. Man, it's hot. It needs salt. It needs salt. It needs a little pepper. And uh, just a touch more. See, you got to be careful. Look, look. It's amazing how, uh, how much uh, cornstarch attached to coconut milk. The minute you got coconut milk, man, it becomes so thick, so quick. So be careful, eh? All right, so here it is. I like it. I think it's perfect just like this. Let's test it. Let's make sure... We're looking good. Yes, it's beautiful sauce. The gorgeous sauce. Let's see if it's any good. Mmm. Mmm. It's good. But you know what would make it better? We don't have to be tall. We don't have to be exactly uh, uh, traditional. You know, nobody's saying you got to make, oh, don't put butter. If somebody says don't put butter, just don't invite them again. That's all. That's what I do. Oh, you don't like my butter, huh? <laughs> we'll see where you're spending Thanksgiving last year, not with me. So here we go, friends. Turn the heat up. Give me a minute you put the butter. Sauce is perfect. We're going to take them out of the oven. So I put both of them in there so we can look at it together. All right, so we got 
We got the uh, the one that went, you know what? They don't look that much different at the end of the day. At the end of the day, those are the one then we start in the sauce. And those are the ones that were not in the sauce. So it's up to you. I, I, I think those look good also. It's really up to you, my friend. So what we're going to do, I have a, a, we made a coconut rice. I write the recipe for you for the coconut rice. I'm putting it in a little bowl like this. And I'm just going to go. It's not going to want to, it's not going to want to come out. Here you go. I just put them right there in a the bowl. It doesn't matter how you do it. It's really up to you, friends. Then we're going to take a little bit of the sauce. And we're going to put it in the bottom of the plate. I should have taken the bowl after I did the sauce, but uh, I have tendency of doing everything upside down today. So, see, then well, I'm lucky I didn't mess up the, uh, the, the, let me put a little more sauce because it's all about the sauce, all about the sauce, always is about the sauce. All right, put a little bit here, cover. Put as much or as little as you want, okay? It's really up to you, my friends. All right, then we're gonna take the bowls. We can take the one that we cook in the sauce or the one without the sauce. It really doesn't matter. Right there, and you put as many bowls as you like. And voila, and voila, and voila. Let's put one that is pretty right there. There you go, friends. All right, we're gonna take a couple of leaves of um, of cilantro because cilantro is a signature. Maybe we'll do something kind of cool. Those cilantro leaves were some of the best, some of the biggest cilantro leaf I've ever seen. I got it this morning at Whole Food. I couldn't believe it, how big they were. And it's so tasty, it's absolutely gorgeous. So look, all of a sudden you make a little plate that looks kind of cool. It's really no big deal to make it. You could uh, put it on a, a, a chop a little chopped cilantro if you want it on top of the rice. Oh, you have it right here, my friends. Very simple plate to make. No big deal. Serve however you want it. Let me get a fork so I can test one. I can eat one because I'm hungry. All right, here we go, friends. Beautiful. Look at this. It's gorgeous. See, look at the inside. Absolutely gorgeous. It's going to be too much of a bite, so I'm not going to eat the whole thing. I'm just going to. Mmm. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Mmm. 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 Friends, I, I think you're going to love it. Oh. Mmm. All of the flavors, the texture, oh, it's fantastic. It's a beaut It's a winner. Mmm. I'm going to make a nice picture for the, turf, for the website, for the uh, uh, channel, for the uh, YouTube, the thumbnail. I forget everything. Friends. Remember, thumbs up if you like the video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel for all of you that are not subscribed. And don't forget to ring the bell. Thanks for watching, friends. Wow. That's fantastic. Mm, that sauce thickened really quick. Do you see that? Whew. So, you know, at the end of the day, they look just fine. But that's because we didn't continue cooking them in the sauce. If we were to continue cooking them in the sauce, they would not look as pretty as they look right now. So it's because we finished them in the oven. So at the end of the day, that was a good move. All right, let's make a nice thumbnail for those lovely people. Because it's something they got to do, man. This is delicious. Oh, my God. Mm. Oh. Actually, no, no, look, don't, don't tell anybody I did that. Mm. 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 Mm.